That will be me, gentlemen. If I'll remember how to land. Control. Control. Nice little ship you got there. Yeah, it is. It's the M50. Oh, very nice. Never had and a chance to fly And I completely forgot what's the keyboard. Just strafe down. Control. Control left. Oh, there, there it go. is. Yeah, thanks. Nicely done. Oh, oh, wrong button. <laughs> Sorry. Take Don't control worry. for a ride. Nothing happened. Don't. Oh shit. Oh, that I think you might have broken. It was rough on your right wing, and now you're. Oh yeah. Jeez. <laughs> um, you alive? Sorry about that. No, I'm probably dead. I am alive. Oh, Jesus. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Star Citizen with Mags. So, the Star Citizen Alpha is, well it's exactly that, it's an Alpha and it does have a limited amount of content. As a result of that, it's not surprising that people that aren't actually in Star Citizen would ask, you know, how can people spend so many hours playing this game? Well it's because currently the Alpha, while it has a limited amount of design content, has something that nearly every game developer wants in their game. Emergent gameplay. Gameplay moments that were not designed by the game's developers, that are completely run and created by those involved in the game itself, that turn out to be some of the most epic moments that you can have within the game. And at the moment, Star Citizen's Alpha is full of these, and I fully expect the game will, in the future, continue this. So today's video is one of those moments. It's a rescue mission. My good friend Deadmeat brought out his personal constellation, spawned it in at Port Olisar, and went to take off, and was immediately rammed by, well, a bloke's freelancer, and spun out of control. The damage was catastrophic. The whole thing took about 15 minutes, but it was just an epic moment, and I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. So let's get to it. Okay, so... There's someone called a math just got in. Oh my god. If my ship just started spinning. Yeah, it got yep. rammed. <laughs> okay. Who am I? Uh, I'm about to and are they out of the, the ship? Are they no. out of the exclusion zone yet? No, the exclusion okay. zone is a fair way out. I think that okay. might be part of your it's ship, actually. <laughs> Yeah, one of the thrusters went right off. Yeah, I'm chasing it down now just to create a cruise mode. Now for those who are unfamiliar with how the physics work inside of Star Citizen, from the outside, Dead Meat's ship, as you can see, is spinning virtually out of control. He cannot control this at the moment. He's got thruster damage, he cannot arrest this spin. But from inside the ship, he's able to stand up and walk around the inside of the ship perfectly as normal, with the galaxy spinning through the front window at a nausea-inducing rate, but the inside of the ship being Contact. perfectly fine. Contact. Yeah, ripped off your lower right engine, and you've possibly got thruster damage. And somebody just rammed it again. I think someone's a little bit jealous. wonder if it's that SSM person. No, he was sending... Uh, oh, SSM is... Freelancer and went to another system. Proximity oh. alert. Head. Yeah, respawned. I'm trying to explode. Are you still in it? Yeah. Are you getting dizzy yet? No, nah, not really. I'm flying parallel to you at the moment. You might see me from time to time out the window. Oh yeah, Mags, you know how you said you wanted a uh, female voice on your computer? Contact. Yep. Get an origin ship. They have a female voice. No, no, I'm, <clears throat> I like the the Aegis designs. I just want to be Contact. able to change the voices Begin in them scan. and not have the, the bloke Contact. talking to me all the time. Whoa, that's going to be really close. Shit, at this rate, you are going to clear the exclusion zone. Um, I just jumped out. Jumped out of the ship, or...? Yeah, I jumped out of the ship, and I'm trying to work out how to suicide, but the keys that it's supposed to be are just not working. The weight! 
Alt and backspace and hold them. Did not work. Uh, where are you? Well, I'm standing Trying still. To... Do you see me? Dead meat. No. If we can find you, we'll recover you. I am pro approximately two kilometers away from my my ship towards the space station. Okay. Right, so we're I can too hear far something back. flying around. Well, I just saw something fly past me. Right, towards. Me. Yep, that's you. You can see okay. me. I can see you. Very Don't slow. Know. All right, I'm going to. Head back towards the space station slowly. Alright, I am on maneuvering thrusters on, or I'm on uh, precision mode only. Hey, can well, you see me coming towards you? Yeah, I'm. Oops. Above me, below me. Uh, pretty much right in front of you. Okay, so. Stop, keep stop, 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 stop right now. I think I see you, Dead Meat, yeah. So, I is there a second? Uh, no, Dead Meat, I see you, you can come on board of my ship if... Yeah, I'm you behind don't... you. Oh, I see you, I see you, I see you, yep. Yeah, hey. yeah. Is there a second seat, seat in that ship? You can no, come no in my There's no second seat, but they can use me as a beacon to find you, and you can jump on board. Here we go. Guys! Behind you! Behind behind you. <laughs> yep, okay, I see it. Cool. <laughs> Never been a passenger in a Aurora before. You can be a passenger in a space Lamborghini if you want. <laughs> Let me know when you're in. Rescue and recovery. So, after a couple of short moments messing around with a small glitch where the game resented the idea of putting two players into a single player ship, we managed to get underway. If this doesn't work, I can still suicide myself because... I know it works for me. Yeah, I'm tracing you at the moment. So yeah, let me bring her home. Ah oh dear. Uh, alphas, you gotta love them, right? Hey, uh, I got killed earlier, and I respawned. With just my arms, my trousers, and my um, shoes being rendered. Nothing else. When I just switch close awesome. to the space that means, flight. That means, that means bastards like me can't shoot you in the torso. No, 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 no. <laughs> Got worse. I changed to the space suit. It missed the helmet. I went into the airlock. I suffocated. Oh, oh I've had that happen to me a couple times. I had no head. <laughs> I had no head, but I suffocated. Uh, that <laughs> happened to me yesterday. I was invisible and I could not wear my spacesuit, and every time I went into the airlock, I suffocated. Yeah, I've had that happen awkward. once before. You've got to exit and then log back in. No, it would spawn me right back with the full model after that, so I had no Strange. problem. Oh, yeah. Actually, it fixed itself after I suffocated. <laughs> oh, there we go. Return back. Okay. Rescue and recovery successful. So we've just recovered somebody from deep space. All right, that's something to tick off the bucket list. Little glitchy, but <laughs> hey, it worked. We got it. Okay, close. I'm going to go respawn my Connie. You do that. And this time, I'm going to hope that some douche nozzle doesn't fucking climb into it. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, dead meat. Anyways, this was just a moment that occurred while playing Star Citizen. It was unscripted, unplanned, it was either caused out of some bad piloting by a new player or some deliberate griefing at the launch pad, and it turned out to be about 15 minutes overall of some of the most fun and my first space rescue. And these are the kind of little moments that just happen the whole way through the time you're playing Star Citizen. Anytime you put multiple players in an area where they can crew multiple ships and fly together, stuff like this is going to occur. Star Citizen is already a hive for emergent gameplay and it's only going to get bigger. And like any game that has a very strong base of emergent gameplay, the best moments in the game are always the moments that are off script. 
Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And until next time, click like if you do, subscribe if you want to see more. Fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the verse.